Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. You guys notice what's different about this moose? It's about scale. It's about the right size. It's got antlers. Of course it's not real, it's just a sculpture, but it's at a government tourist office here in British Columbia. And it's a typical example of political correctness because government doesn't want to offend anybody and it's stupid. I've seen this with um, ancient Roman sculptures too. I'll tell you what the difference is that's missing on this is uh, if you look underneath this uh, moose, it's a, obviously a, a boy because it's got the, the horns. It doesn't have genitalia. <laughs> now what up with that? You know, real mooses, if you look under there, actually have genitalia. They have uh, testicles and, and they have a penis. Yes, they do. You know, that's real mooses. So. Apparently real mooses offend people because they have genitalia. Now of course about the only iconic thing about this moose is the scale and the horns. Of course it looks uh, you know looks neat but it's political correct garbage. And uh, you know in the real world people have genitals. Even people with ambiguous genitalia still have one or the other or both. <laughs> Come on. It's so typical. I hate it when government tries to meddle in, um, you know, thought police type of stuff where they don't want to offend anybody. It's really stupid. You know what? Female humans have breasts. Uh, female men have penises. The same with the sculpture. Oh, we do have a small little tail here. Okay, yeah, it's just ridiculous and uh, I actually find it offensive that we can't depict reality anymore because reality is offensive. Come on, if you see a real moose in the wildlife, yeah, it's going to be male or female. It's just the way it is. If you don't like it, well, move to another planet. It's ridiculous. Put your comments down below how ridiculous you think this is when you see public art or even ancient Roman or Greek art that is censored because, God forbid, the statue has a penis. You know, it reminds me of when Star Wars came out and uh, people were thinking about Chewbacca. You know, he doesn't have pants. The Wookiee needs pants. No, the Wookiee doesn't need pants. It's a fictional character. <laughs> anyway, um, that's just my rant about the moose today. Still traveling south. What can I say? Beautiful day for traveling. So in the meantime, folks, stay safe, keep your wheels in the ground, and I'll talk to you soon. I got you, I got you.